So it went pretty smooth, huh? I think so. I mean, yeah. people aren't rushing around like mad, so I assume it went well. It's so nice to get it done because like, we've been thinking about trying to find a good place to get it done for, what, months, right? Yeah. And now finally we're here and you know, a good place. the boat's tied to a dock and so... Yeah. It's just now like I can't do anything, any work for like two weeks, so no heavy lifting, no working in the engine room, no going up the rig, no putting up the sails. And After months exploring New England, we sailed Delos down the coast to Annapolis, Maryland. It was a rough and trying sail for us, so we decided to make a pit stop to fix all the stuff we broke this season, which included a surgery to repair an umbilical hernia that had suddenly flared up. I was a little out of it from the pain meds, but still, in the back of my mind lingered all the projects required to get Della's ship shape and ready to sail for the next leg of our journey. With me out of commission for a few weeks, we had a huge challenge ahead of us. This is the story of Delos, a sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now, we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Delos videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. Hi, baby nuts. They're home. I missed you. <laughs> okay, good news. Brian, Dr. Hernia operation can now go from in progress. I can't believe you put my hernia operation on the board, Kaza. 10 days into our stay, I need some major help to tackle our project list. Look yeah. at the, oh, the bottoms are all wearing out. Yeah, exactly. So it's really just starting to come apart and there's, it's pretty funky. There's some pieces outside the toilet where it's just disintegrated, like the whole bottom. It's a little trickier doing boat work uh, when it's just uh, me by myself. I'll see how this goes, but my Mission today is the carpets, so I want to get the carpets cut and ready to be bound. So I'm gonna hand it to somebody to be bound. I could probably do it myself, but right now it just feels like I have way too much on my plate. Well, I am out of commission, just stumbling around, and uh, Kaza is basically taking on all the duties of watching Sierra and continue with boat projects. She's kind of a super mom, actually. You gotta see her, look at this. <laughs> What's your next step? Next step is to um, spread the carpet out and then put the old stuff on top, like a jigsaw puzzle, uh, fit it all there, and then uh, start marking and cutting. So yeah, now I just have to like kind of go and like slowly, slowly trim off these edges. See, this roll is very big, but yeah, it's a few, few small places where it's like a little, little, little buff, but that's good enough for me. Well, we got the new uh, motor mounts in and because I'm basically useless and unable to do any hard labor, good old Bill from Calico Skies has volunteered to get into the engine room, help me put the motor mounts in. Even the engine room ex door exceeds what I'm supposed to lift at this point. So we're gonna be replacing the engine mounts and the transmission mounts. And I think we'll do the engine mounts first because okay. the transmission mounts are super easy. Okay, perfect. So it's already lifting it. Nice. Yep. Here's the first mount. Okay. Not up to the, to the mark. The okay, so now we'll just set the mounts and then we'll put the front of the engine down. We'll lift the back and then we'll call it a, we'll call it a win. Is it hard or no? It's pretty hard. I mean, it's just not like we're stressing too much though, right? I mean like this or like... Yeah, I mean, me? it's not... No, nothing's it's just... Oops. Okay. Now carefully... <laughs> Carry on. What's going on here? Okay. <laughs> it's turned into a real boat project. 
Um, we're a little bit worried that the, we won't be able to let the chain come along down slowly. So I've put a halyard onto the mizzen mast to take some of the stress and I can ease it on the winch um, after Bill lets the weight off. So, okay, I'm almost. Oops. Oh, there you go. All right, uh, we over the bolts. Yeah, it's not lined up that one side. They got a totally different location now though. Come down there and have a look, maybe. Yeah. It's on. I don't think these motor mounts have long enough threads, though. Fuck. <laughs> Dang it. It's always something. All right. Well, Bill turns out has this crazy high load bearing, high PSI compression. What's it called? G10. G10. I'm cutting out some spacers to put under the mount that'll give us the extra threads we need. The drill presses are so cool! Alright, we got all the mounts in! How's it looking? Pretty close to going in. So Sorry, are we ready to come down then? Yes, yeah, to come down very gently. Okay, you ready? Yep, go Coming down. We're in. We're in? Solid, yep. All right. All right, I'm gonna do a full ease. Yep, go for it. <laughs> How funny, man. Mizzens are good for a lot of things. Yeah, I know. I was thinking the same thing. So much, <laughs> so much utility. <laughs> you can even hang your laundry up there. <laughs> Lift your engine, hang your laundry. All right, these are the new transmission mounts. I think it might make sense to get these mounted so that we can kind of get the transmission where it should be and then we'll align the engine. Yep, so put it, so those holes should line up like that. And then, yep, that's it. Getting close. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, it's free. Thanks so much. No problem, dude. Can't leave you behind here. It's <laughs> this whole winter. Oopsie. <laughs> Sweet. So, uh, Ryan has bound all the carpets for me, and I think they did a great job. Mom. Okay, moment of truth. That's real good. That's awesome. Look at that fit. That's such a relief. Are you excited, Sierra? <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I can move the sticky note, Sierra. He's gonna put these in and then I can move the sticky note. So this is the uh, fuel injection pump. It's all been rebuilt, new seals, painted, all freshened up. The guys did a real good job. New pump is somewhere between three and four thousand dollars. No way. And I was able to get it rebuilt for uh, seven hundred dollars, including parts and labor. Wow. This thing injects high pressure fuel through the injectors directly into the cylinder. So the fuel goes in here. Under pressure, it's timed. The pressure is produced by this guy spinning, and then it gets spit out of these at the exact right time, all time with the camshaft that's opening and closing the intake and exhaust valves and everything as it goes. So the, the engine should be at top dead center right now. Uh, which is where you're supposed to do all this work because the pump is locked in time at top dead center So we're locking the engine. We're in place locking. It can't spin. We're locking the camshaft. We're locking the engine and we've locked the pump until we get the timing belt on. Yeah Should fit nicely on there Okay, so This is the a mark which there's a mark on the timing belt cover. So when I put this on, those two should line up. We have the mark on the pump lined up with the keyway here. And then we have this 
A timing mark lined up with this notch, and that tells us that this is in the right spot uh, for the camshaft, which is at top dead center, and the crankshaft, which is also at top dead center, fixed with the drift in the flywheel. Okay, so this is your torque wrench. We're looking for 45 foot-pounds. It's about 35. Okay, ready for the timing belt. So see how this has an F on it? Yep. So that means facing forward. Okay, so that has to go underneath the crankshaft and then around all the pulleys. Okay. All right, dude. Sweet nice job. All cool. right, so uh, timing belt's on, injection pump's on, motor mounts are on and all shiny. I think we're in good shape. Sweet. Thanks for all the help, man. Yeah, no problem. I'm learning a lot, too. Sweet. It's been a couple days since the surgery. I'm still not allowed to really do anything that resembles real work, which is a little bit frustrating for me. Yeah, I mean, I'm just doing the best that I can. Kaza has been amazing, or you've been amazing, uh, taking over the slack and... Um... Since Brian is out of commission, uh, Bill and Jeff has been helping us uh, getting the chain back. So I'm gonna run over to the marina uh, where they have it ready on the dock, I think. <laughs> Look how far out of the water we are. That's ridiculous. You think it's easiest right here? Look at that chain, it's so stinky. Oh, there are some stuck links, huh? Yeah, yeah. That sucks. That's your spot in the hallway, mate. Bring it up, Bring it up, Bring it up, That's one approach. It's not going to go over the tipsy. Yeah. Because it's got to be able to roll. Yeah. We are making pretty good progress. Yesterday we got the uh, injection pump on, boom. Got the timing belt on, timing belt cover. And today I'm gonna work on a few visual things. So we've got some rust from the raw water leak. So I'm gonna use my uh, rust dissolver jelly on there. And then we're gonna just clean all this up, get all the loose debris off, and then maybe give her a little bit of uh, TLC painting. That was a bit of a different <laughs> experience than I thought. I thought I was just gonna come and pick it up and it's gonna be super easy, but it took about one and a half hours to just five people smashing boat projects. Huh? They're never straightforward. <laughs> Look at us. We're hard aground. All right, do you know the first rule of angle grinding? Uh, wear protective gear. Well, I'll put the baby down. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no, you cannot have those. And then you gotta put those on. Okay. We don't actually have a cutting wheel, so we're just gonna grind it, which is actually kind of fun too. Even more fun, huh? <laughs> so we gotta remove the first link because uh, this one is have been like shaping a little bit on the uh, anchor side. It's a little thinner yeah. than the It's the weak link. Ones. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So I'm gonna splice the road to the chain 
uh, because we have both and it needs to be a pretty uh, neat splice otherwise it won't fit into the what I call anchor picker upper is not the correct word but <laughs> wish me good luck <laughs> Splicing is a technique that joins rope together by interweaving the individual strands. In this case, we're permanently splicing the anchor road to our chain. Okay, actually didn't take that long. Maybe like 30 minutes. And yeah, that's it. Moment of truth. Now it's gonna go in. Oh yes, no problem. Yay! Whoa, and here we go, drop it. <laughs> there it is. That's, me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what anchors do, okay? Galvanize chain. Boom. Done and done. Complete. What is <laughs> We need to clean out the injector holes in the diesel and uh it's very important that all the dirt and corrosion that we scrape out of there, we suck out so it doesn't get into the piston. So I'm trying to rig up this little tube. And to clean uh, them out, we're gonna try to use my Dremel that I got for my birthday when we were in Madagascar. I think, think they're done. Now Brian's just gonna go up and grab a few other things and then we can put the new injectors back in. We're just on the last stage of the injectors. I've been cleaning these. This is all the retaining hardware that keeps the injectors in the block. So I'm gonna clean them up because they're all kind of nasty. Righty, eh? You ready? Brian's in. He's going for it. You need the sound effects too? Yep. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Hey, dead sexy. It is new. Dead sexy. Today is going to be another big day. We're going to get the injectors in. All this prep work has kind of been leading up to this. Uh, this is one of the rebuilt injectors. So we got new tips put in it. Okay. Oh yeah. See how the, the tip is all carboned up. And we saved uh, about $700 by rebuilding these instead of buying new ones. Okay. okay. Go right in there. Like this? Mm-hmm. Go down. Did it feel like it seated down? It feels like it. Okay. Have you ever used a torque wrench before? I have not, but I've seen you use it. Okay. Uh -huh. And so these we need to torque to 43 newton meters. Oh, so you're almost to 30. A little bit more. Tiny little bit more. Okay, there you go. <sighs> Perfect. Good job. Pretty tight, huh? It's pretty tight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, only three more. <laughs> shaking. But that's it. That's how you put an injector in. Cool. Hi, five. The following morning, our good friends Jeff and Cameron started their own adventure and set sail south. Where are you going? Hey, We're headed south for the winter. All right, we'll see you guys. See you. Just uh, see you soon. head south till the butter melts. That's a good place to stop. Getting left behind is always a little bittersweet, but it really energizes us to finish up and get moving again ourselves. In the meantime, Jeff and Cameron's house was empty, and we graciously accepted their invite to stay while I toured into the projects that would leave the inside of Delos in shambles for the next few days. Ryan's here. <laughs> Super Ryan. Yes. Remember Super Ryan from uh, when we hauled out in the summertime and he came and like busted his ass for two weeks helping us do the bottom job? Well, it turns out that Ryan is coming up to visit his family for Thanksgiving and he has offered to come by and give us a hand. Hi guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi. And so after two weeks of hard labor at the boatyard, yeah. 
when you heard we were here, you decided to give us a call, send me a message again, and, and volunteer for more yeah, hard well, labor. What what possessed you, my friend? Well, I saw you had surgery. Uh, oh, that's and, true. And it said in the quote, said, uh, Brian won't be able to do all the work projects. And I was working on a boat in Florida and sent you a message and said, give me a shout. Glad to come up and help what out. What a dude. So, that's amazing. So it's great to have Ryan as crew again, and he's such a hard worker, and it's just amazing to be able to have, yeah, some help with all the stuff that we need to do. We got a whole bunch of projects going on. I'm working at half capacity, maybe. Kaz is out of action because she watches Sierra most of the time, and so I'm really happy to have the help. So thanks for that. Absolutely. I think it's going to be great because having Sierra in the boat when we're doing a lot of work is just kind of a nightmare. So uh, yeah, going to move out for a couple of days and hopefully we can get the door in and the washing machine and all of the inside boat stuff uh, done and then me and Sierra can come back and stay at the boat again. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> all right, shall we? Let's get it knocked out. All right. All right, so your mission, should you choose to accept it, accept. we're going to finish up this door so that we can move Sierra into the pasture and you can have the V-Birth. All right, we've put about six uh, coats of varnish on. The door's done, and now it's time to put the hardware on. All right, here we go. We'll put the... Man, that thing looks fantastic. There she is. Looks shiny, smooth, nice job, dude. The varnish turned out good, huh? And what we're going to work on now is finishing up the latch uh, for the door handle. That looks nice. Yeah, so, all right. Now we'll see if we can see how she goes. Sink her right in. Whoa! There she is. High five, dude. Good job. Up next on Delos, we dismantle our brand new washing machine. Now the fun part is putting it back together. Yeah. <laughs> and I make a huge mistake. Ooh, that was a good. What did we do? Can I get a big cheesy wave? <laughs> like it, like you're in a parade. Like an actual wave, not just a. Yeah, that's a royal wave. It needs to be a, there, there you go. go. Need motion. Oh, that's, that's a shot. Happy. I'd rather have it a little bit big than too small. That's what she said. <laughs> I learned from experience. That's what she said. There was a few carpets that I put in that um, they were too small. That's what she said. Yeah, that is a real deal breaker, I think. <gasps> That's what she said. <laughs>